Happy Monday! Happy Blessing Day! Hey, today's Blessing Day. How do I look? I got myself all fixed up this morning. Yes, I did. My entourage is busy doing book work this morning. Getting our tithe ready. Amen. Figuring everything up so we can get our tithe out the door. Amen. Our tithe does not stay in this house. Well, I want it out, gone. The Lord's money does not belong in our house. Amen. It's the first fruit. It's the first, before anything is paid, the tithe goes out. Amen. Hey, I want to talk to you today about four secret biblical money principles. This is going to be good. Money principles that nobody else has ever come up with until now. And it works. And they're so simple. They involve little or, or no effort on your part. But will make you wealthy. You want to get a load of that? Huh? This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Say this with me on this blessing day. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the best preacher in the whole country. Pastor Jim is the best prayer partner in the whole country. And to prove it, I have the certificates. There's the certificate for best preacher. There's the certificate for best prayer partner. Amen. That makes it official. That makes it official. Somebody has to be the best preacher. So our committee went through everybody and decided only one person fit the bill. I've had challengers, but they didn't measure up. Amen. So, if you know somebody, try them out. Hey, this is going to be good. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please share this with everybody you know. Everybody should know these four principles. And I'm going to go through them this week. Amen. This is so absolutely important. And don't forget on Blessing Day today, but when you do your tithes and offerings, and a lot of people do on Monday, because that's the day they get the blessing spoken to, make sure you call me, because I want to speak the blessing over you. I want to speak the blessing over your finances. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you don't have this book, How to Break Curses, it is so important that I will send you one of these books if you do your offering and donation or your tithe today. Amen. Now, I know a lot of you have already gotten because we've been making this offer. But the reason we're making this offer is because it's so important to get this into everybody's hands. And if you have one of these books, do your offering and donation today and give it to somebody. Somebody who needs it. Amen. Secret Biblical money principles. Now, what I did was I Googled it. You ever Google anything? I Google everything. And I Googled a lot of people, including the big, the big one. When it comes to money, you got to talk about Dave Ramsey. He's wonderful. He is wonderful. Crown Financial is another good one. But Dave Ramsey is the one that stands out. Amen. So he's got all these. He actually had uh, a video called Secret Biblical Money Principles. But guess what? He didn't find my secrets. Nobody did. Even Brother Copeland. As wonderful as he is, and I look up to Brother Copeland, he didn't come up with these. Amen. Joel Olstein talks about uh, abundance and stuff all the time. Joseph Prince, all those people. Joyce Meyer, 
They all talk about this, this. On TBN, they talk about this all the time. But nobody has come up with these four that I did. Amen. And they're so easy and so simple. Uh, Dave Ramsey's money principles, secret money principles are have a plan. I have heard that for years. Amen. Get out of debt. I've heard that one too. Don't be stagnant. These are all great. Don't be stagnant. You know, that goes along with uh, one of the things I tell people. If what you're doing isn't working, do something different. Amen. Don't be stagnant. Amen. Uh, be generous. That is biblical. Amen. But it's not secret. I've been hearing that for years and years and years. Amen. And then the last one that he came up with is high quality relationships. And that is biblical too. Because the Bible, we just were, went over that yesterday in church. We were talking about that uh, because we're studying Proverbs on Sunday in church. And I talked about the fact that if you associate with wise people, you will become wise. If you associate with fools, you'll become a fool. You become like the people you associate with. You become like the people who have access to the flaps on the side of your head. Mary has these two flaps on the side of her head. Only they hide under her hair. So they don't stick out. Oh, now she's got it. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. But these that I came up with, the first and foremost with anybody, number one, break the curse of the law. Nobody else out there. And believe me, when I went through this, and I, I went through this and watched videos and looked through this for hours and not one person ever mentioned it. Not one person ever mentioned it. That that is one of the secrets. That that is one of the things you need to do. I found 53 steps to biblical prosperity. 54 steps to abundance. The 35 most important steps to achieving abundance. I mean, all kinds of stuff. The five most important. The four most important. The seven most important. The nine most important. Everybody comes up with all these. But not one person out there. Therefore, it leads me to believe that I'm the only one who knows. Now, I know, and I have known for a long time, Mary will verify this, that nobody else ever discovered this but me. Is that right, Mary? Right. We've, we've never, Mary has been around Word of Faith, the Word of Faith, charismatic, Bible thumping, faith, healing, tongue talking, meeting, going, uh, CD, tape, listening, believers for what, 40 years? Long time. Long time. Long time. And she never heard it. We never heard it when we were in Bible college at Rama. And Rhema is the most advanced Bible college, uh, spirit-filled Bible college in the world. Never heard it. Never heard it. Never heard Rod Parsley mention it. Seen him a bunch of times. Never even heard Shambach mention it. Although Shambach used to say, there's no such thing as luck. You're either blessed or you're cursed. Now, he did say that. But he never mentioned breaking the curse of the law. Amen? Never mentioned it. Never mentioned it. Had he paid attention to A.A. A. Allen, he might have gotten an idea. He used to work for A.A. A. Allen years ago. Shambox with the Lord now. Bless his heart. Wonderful, wonderful. All these people are great. They're fa fabulous ministers. But not one person ever came up with this. I am shouting this from the rooftops. However, in 1967, Kenneth Copeland, 
stood up. After listening to Brother Hagin teach about the curse of the law, Brother Hagin taught about the curse of the law, but he never said you had to break it. He never said you had to break it, but he talked about it. Keith Moore talks about the curse of the law. He's got a whole series on the curse of the law. I have listened to it probably five, six times in great detail, taken notes and outlined it. I still got the notes. And he never mentioned that it has to be broke. But in 1967, while listening to Brother Hagen teach about the curse of the law on a tape, Kenneth Copeland stood up and said, Curse, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. And he sat down. And Gloria said the curse dried up. They had the curse going on in their life. They were broke. Had been chronically broke for years. Their whole married life, which was about five years at that time, they were just, uh, they were eating air sandwiches. They didn't have bologna to put in the bread. Trying to feed three little kids and go to ORU at the same time. But everything changed. He said the blessing started to grow. But, bless his heart, he did not get a revelation of what he did. If he had, he'd be screaming it from the rooftops. You would hear it every single day on his television program. He'd say, he, he'd say you got to break the curse of the law in your life. But he never did. And why? Because he doesn't have a revelation of what he did for himself. Neither does Keith Moore. He keeps the devil bound in his life. That's why he lives in such abundance. But he doesn't have a revelation that that is breaking the curse of the law. Kenneth Hagin did the same thing. He broke the power of the devil in his life, but he doesn't have a revelation that that was breaking the curse of the law. He didn't, but I did. Because the Lord told me I didn't know it either. And I was seeking God. I'm telling you every day, all day long, just every single day, on and on and on. It was so intense, I had to leave the house for eight months. And finally, the Lord spoke to me and told me how to get the blessing. To get the blessing, you must break the curse of the law. I did, and now we live. And that was eight years ago, eight years and three months ago, and now we live in absolute abundance, people. I say glory to God because that's what happens when the curse of the law is broken. You go through Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 through 68. That is the curse of the law, word for word, and I can break every one of those curses in your life in five seconds. In five seconds. Glory to God. And your whole life will change if you keep your mouth shut. Just go about your business. We've got people building million-dollar homes, folks. We've got people blessed to the tune where I can't even tell you what's going on in their lives. It's so uh, fantastic. A lady, what prompted this whole thing was a lady the other day called me and she said, Pastor Jim, I've been trying to get out of debt for years. I even took the Dave Ramsey course. But nothing worked until you broke the curse of the law in my life and broke the curse of debt in my life. And now my debt is gone. In four months, her debt went away. That's what happens. Call me today. Today's blessing day anyway. I'm going to break the curse of the law on everybody that calls on that phone today. You should have this done about every week, folks, just to make sure nothing has creeped back into your life. Glory to God. Don't forget, also, make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations because I want to break the curse and speak the blessing. This is the most important thing I can do for you. I am out of time. I am determined you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life.